People often find Blender hard to learn because it has a lot of features and options that can be overwhelming at first. It's like trying to learn how to drive a really fancy car with lots of buttons and controls. It takes time to get used to everything. Additionally, some people might find the interface confusing or not very intuitive compared to other software they're used to. Here are the 9 reasons why Blender is hard to learn. Before we dive in, let me introduce you to 3D Dot Design. It's like a treasure trove of awesome 3D things, such as character models, icons and lots more. Our library is packed with artists, avatars, stylish cars and different file types that work with tools like After Effects. It's the ideal spot to kickstart your creative adventure and have a blast exploring. Alright, let's begin with the video. Blender's interface is rich with buttons, menus and panels, which can be overwhelming for newcomers. It's not immediately clear what each button or option does, making it challenging to know where to start. The sheer number of tools and options available can lead to confusion and frustration, especially for those who are accustomed to simpler interfaces in other software. Blender is a comprehensive 3D software with a wide range of functionalities, including modeling, animation, sculpting, compositing and more. Learning each aspect of Blender requires time and dedication, akin to climbing a steep hill. Beginners may feel daunted by the vast amount of knowledge they need to acquire to become proficient in the software. Blender employs terminology specific to the 3D modeling and animation industry, which can be unfamiliar to beginners. Terms like vertices, UV mapping and rigging may sound like a foreign language to those new to the field. Blender does not always adhere to industry standard workflows followed by other 3D software such as Maya or 3ds Max. This lack of standardization can lead to confusion for users transitioning from other programs, as they may expect certain features or workflows to behave differently in Blender. Blender is renowned for its extensive feature set covering a wide spectrum of 3D workflows. However, this abundance of features can overwhelm beginners who may struggle to understand and master all the tools available. Trying to learn everything at once can be daunting and may lead to frustration. Blender's interface is optimized for efficiency, relying heavily on keyboard shortcuts for various actions and commands. While shortcuts can significantly speed up workflow once mastered, beginners who are more accustomed to using menus and buttons may find this reliance on keyboard shortcuts daunting and difficult to adapt to. Achieving realistic renders in Blender requires understanding concepts such as materials, lighting, and render settings. Configuring these elements to produce the desired result can be complex for beginners, who may struggle to grasp the intricacies of shader nodes, light properties, and render engine settings. Blender is a powerful software that demands significant computational resources to run smoothly, especially when working with complex scenes or high-resolution assets. Users with older or less powerful hardware may experience performance issues or even be unable to run Blender effectively. Learning Blender, like any complex software, takes time and patience. Some beginners may become frustrated or discouraged by the initial learning curve and give up before fully exploring the software's capabilities. Without perseverance and dedication, it can be challenging to overcome the hurdles of learning Blender effectively. In conclusion, it's evident that Blender can be a challenging software to master, especially for beginners. However, it's important to remember that with patience and practice, anyone can overcome these hurdles and become proficient in using Blender. Don't be discouraged by the initial difficulties. Instead, embrace them as part of the learning process. Keep experimenting, keep learning, and soon enough, you'll find that Blender becomes much easier to navigate and use effectively. So, stay determined, stay curious, and soon you'll be creating amazing things with Blender. And that's it for this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our vast library of 3D character models at 3D.design. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.